All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, I know today we're having a red day. We're down a bit on the day. Uh, but, you know, guys, there are there have been some good things that have happened uh, in the news with Bitcoin. Um, and there are some positive things in the charts that I want to show you guys at the end of the video. Uh, so stick around. This is going to be a good one. Hopefully I can give you a, a bit of a silver lining, uh, despite the price action that's going on today. Uh, it's not a horrible day. You know, it's, we're currently, uh, down 2.88, uh, percent on Bitcoin. Um, nothing like some of the crashes that we, you know, have obviously seen in the last, even last few months. Uh, so not, it's not terrible, uh, but there are some things that I want to show you that I think will give you a bit more hope. Um, you know, if you're feeling a little, you know, uneasy about things, uh, but guys, as, as I've done the last couple of weeks, I've been asking you guys, if you have any questions or anything I want, you want me to cover on the, on the episodes, uh, to let me know. I am going to do that today. I had a comment come in on my last video on Friday. Uh, so I do want to cover that one. It's going to be a good one. Um, something you'll be able to really kind of think about uh, that'll kind of show you the power of, of what Bitcoin and what cryptocurrency can do for you. Uh, and and you'll be able to share this with friends. Uh, you know, the, the comment that I had, uh, that's kind of the whole thing the whole point of this comment. So um, anyways, if you guys have questions or anything you want me to cover on the channel, let me know in the comments. I will definitely get to it. Um, okay, so this comment comes in from Andy Louie 83 again. And he says, I would love to see another video about the power of DCA, dollar cost averaging. It's just, you buy so much every day or every week or every month um, is what dollar cost average means. Um, something that I can send to people that shows just how effective it can be. For example, if a person was to dollar cost average $100 a month for a full four years using last cycle's metrics, then if they did the same thing through a second cycle, et cetera, then extend that 250 per month for a full cycle, 500 per uh, month, um, and 1,000 per month. I'm sure you could even add some of your own flair on this concept, uh, but I would love to show how much of a change people can make in their lives in a cycle or two. Okay. So first of all, thank you for, again, for the comment, for the question, uh, for the idea. And I am, I am going to kind of spin it a little bit different if, if I can, if there's enough time and everything, um, and things aren't dragging along, I will try and get to all of your, your scenarios with the 250 a month, 500 a month. Uh, but I do have a hypothetical in mind, uh, to kind of show you the idea of this as well. And, you know, just a way to think about it. Uh, so let's get into that guys. Um, first of all, when this question came in on, uh, Friday, there was actually a, a tweet on tw over on Twitter that, that kind of reminded me of this question. So I do want to show you that, that tweet really quick. Uh, we're going to jump over there. This is, um, from Kakashi and uh, there's been a user, this shows kind of a wallet that's just scrolling through all their buys, but this user has been buying Bitcoin, uh, $30 a day DCA. And after seven years, 10 months and 12 days, nearly, nearly eight years, two cycles, uh, made it to $1 million portfolio. The total spent was 86,370 which now is worth a million dollars. And, you know, it's crazy because 86,000 is less than one Bitcoin right now. So think about that for just two seconds. If you could buy what this guy has in his wallet is over 10 Bitcoin 
from dollar cost averaging $30 a day for the last nearly eight years. So he has over 10 Bitcoin in his wallet and he essentially paid for less than one Bitcoin at today's prices. <laughs> Insane. Um, okay, so that's the tweet. I do want to jump over to this uh, Bitcoin calculator. Uh, D this is a DCA, Bitcoin DCA calculator from Bitbo. Um, and I will leave the link to this in the description of the video if you guys want to go over and play around with it as well. Um, so go down in the comments and, and I will leave this link uh, in the credits of, of this video, the credits section of this, the description. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, um, the hypothetical I have, guys, um, really quick is, you know, you spend... And first of all, let me preface this with I, I really kind of hate the idea of videos that, you know, say if you're poor, it's all it's only your fault for, uh, you know, buying extravagant things that you don't need, like cups of coffee at Starbucks uh, and kind of blames the person themselves for for things that they've done financially that that haven't benefited then i i don't love those videos but uh just as to preface this with i'm not saying that at all um you know i i do think that people generally do buy a lot of things that they don't need we've been kind of fed that in this capitalist consumerist society that we we have uh but blaming the little guy rather than advertising and algorithms and all the cheap tricks that that big money has up their sleeves to to influence behavior is uh, a little distasteful so just know that i'm not doing that all i'm doing is showing you a hypothetical of what you could do uh so um we're gonna go with that coffee example um and i haven't bought coffee outside of you know, homemade coffee in pr probably nearly eight years. Uh, but, um, you know, back then I was flying a bunch, so I did have to buy coffee in the airports and, and whatnot. Um, and it's probably more expensive than this now uh, with inflation and everything. But we're going to go off the $5 cup of coffee ideal. Um, so if you were to take two cups of coffee out of your week every every week and instead dollar cost average into bitcoin with ten dollars per week um we're going to go over the last four years here with this and i'm just going to hit submit and it'll bring up this chart with all the numbers and what your what your portfolio has done so this this gray line along here is what you've invested so that is a straight line because you're you're buying ten dollars a week it's it's raising at the same amount every week uh the the yellow line is your profit and loss uh line and then the green line is the price of bitcoin during that period okay so uh ten dollars a week for four years uh ago today this is what it looks like at the end of of the last four years you would have taken actually let's go down here uh you let's not go down there first um you would have taken about two thousand dollars invested over that time and turned it into about six thousand okay so you've almost tripled your money in four years um, if we go down here now, the, the green and red here shows whether you're in profit or loss, right? So this is the importance of the four year idea. This is why guys, I tell people, if you're going to buy Bitcoin from now over the next year, it will go up in that time, but plan a worst case scenario. If you don't take profits at the right time and it starts coming down into that bear market, 
plan on uh, keeping it for at least four years. I, you know, ideally, if you were going to get into this market, you would have done so at the end of 2022, early 2023, and you would have seen this whole bull market play out. But if you're going to buy Bitcoin today until the end of this cycle, which is likely if we follow the four year cycle and don't break it, is going to, to end in October of next year. Okay. But if that, if you miss that and it starts coming down, you plan on holding for four years and you will be happy. Like, don't sell your Bitcoin for a loss. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, every bull market, every bear market, we see these uh, headlines in the news. Man takes his life savings and puts it in Bitcoin and loses everything. Yeah, they lost everything because they bought high and sold low. Okay, exact opposite of what you're supposed to do in investing. But as you can see here, in like I was saying with this green and this red, during this bear market, this dollar cost average portfolio was in the red here. And this is when you're going to get really discouraged emotionally. And this is when you're going to want to stop buying every week. But this is the exact moment where you should be buying the most. Like this is where you should have the most conviction of buying every week because you're going to buy very, very low during these times. Okay. So that said, um, you know, over this last four years, you would have gained nearly 190%. Okay. So 190 divided by four years, uh, would, have, would be about 50% uh, gains every single year. So if you think about that, guys, and if you think, you know, the fact is that if you take an investment in what a, in, uh, a investment manager will tell you a 60, 40 bond stock split is a good investment. And you know what? Those average is six to 8% a year. And you've just done, I mean, pushing 10 times what that, what a, a traditional 60 40 uh, split will do just by holding Bitcoin over that same four year period. And that's exactly what a, a wealth manager will tell you when you go in there. It, you can lose money in the 60 40 do, uh, stock bond split as well. What they suggest is that you hold it for at least four years. So what I was just saying to you, if you do that with Bitcoin rather than a stocks bond split, you're pushing your several magnitudes of what that uh, traditional portfolio will get you just in Bitcoin. And it's been like, this is just one cycle. This holds true through the entire life of Bitcoin. Um, but, uh, you know, going back to this, we, you know, basically you gained 4,000 on top of your 2000 and you might be saying, well, that's not life changing money. Okay. Um, but let's, let's do this guys. Let's go for two cycles. Like, um, Andy Louie was saying, we're going to go for eight years. Okay. Uh, submit. We're going to go clear out this is eight years now look what's happening here guys this green this gray line again is almost just like kind of a flat line compared to what your portfolio is doing here and eight years ago we never saw a red point in your portfolio on this so um but at the end of eight years uh you took a total investment of about uh, 4,000, a little over 4,000. And you turned that into nearly $60,000, $10 a week for the last eight years. You just took $4,000 and turned it into 52 
over $52,000. That's not bad, considering that's just cutting out the cost of two coffees per week. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we'll go back to four years. And let's say instead of buying coffee out at all, seven days a week, you buy some Folgers and do it at home. And you invest that $5 uh, per day, which would be $35 per week. Uh, for four years, we're going to do it. Um, and it looks like at the end of those four years, you've invested 7300 or so. And you've taken that to 20000 20500 or so in four years. Guys, again, this is magnitudes ab above what you're going to get doing a, a traditional investment in, in any kind of stocks. Uh, you might get lucky. If, you, if you're in the know and you get lucky with uh, something like NVIDIA uh, before the rally happens, um, you, you might make more. Uh, but the traditional investment in, the, in, in Wall Street is magnitudes less than what Bitcoin's doing. Um, okay, so let's extrapolate this one to eight years. This would be two cycles and see what $5 a day would get you. Um, so $5 a day. Uh, here we go. Eight years, and you have now spent fourteen thousand six hundred and thirty, and you now hold nearly two hundred and ten thousand dollars a fourteen thousand dollar investment. That's five dollars a day last eight years. And now, you know, just cutting coffee out again, not blaming you if you like. If you want to buy coffee, do it. But $5 a day, eight years, is it now has almost paid off. A, I, I mean, depending on your house, right? But some people might be able to completely pay off their mortgage this way. For five bucks a day, they've taken a 30-year mortgage where they're paying thousands a thousand or better on their mortgage and for five bucks a day they've paid it off okay um so let's do a few of of uh andy louis um scenarios he he was saying a hundred every week uh for four years would put you at a four thousand nine hundred dollar investment and you'd be at fourteen thousand dollars over the last four years uh go into eight years that turns into over eight years you'd be nearly ten thousand dollar invested and you'd have a hundred and forty two thousand dollars at the end of this um you know, du let's double that, go to 250, more than double it. Um, over the eight years, we're just, you know, you guys get the point, but 250 a month over the last four, uh, over the last eight years, you'd be 24,500 invested and you would have $329. Uh, three hundred over three hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars in your portfolio at that point. Um, so you guys get the get the point. Um, there, there is nothing that matches this, and there's honestly nothing that is as predictable, in my opinion. Um, if you guys go back and watch, uh some of my videos right around the halving in April this year, when Bitcoin halved, there was a lot of hype about it, right? Uh, you know, and we, we did trend up right before that halving. And I said, look, in previous halvings, 
that that supply shortage doesn't kick in right away. Um, usually we trend upwards right to the, the halving and then we trend sideways and downwards for the next six or eight or 10 months. And then we see that supply crunch kick in and we go absolutely bananas. Um, just crazy money. Um, and we've just started to fill that. So take that for what it's worth. Um, if you guys do want to go over and play with that calculator again, I will have that in the description of the video. Uh, go check it out. Um, yeah, uh, as I was saying, guys, the, the point of all that, you know, Bitcoin is orders of magnitude in returns above nearly anything else you will get into you can you can hire a managed uh portfolio through you know your bank or fidelity or or one of these guys and they they will most likely advise a 60 40 stock bond split and bitcoin just demolishes that as an investment uh it's it's volatile and you're going to need to stick to a plan. As I've always said, if, if you can't stick to your plan and you're going to let your emotions get the best of you, don't get into Bitcoin because it is volatile. And, and on the down days, you're going to be tempted to do some really stupid things. You've got to have a plan, whether it be hold for four years or hold until the, till this amount of money, Whatever it is, you've got to have a plan and you've got to have some conviction to stay with that. Uh, but dollar cost averaging is a fantastic way to, to get off of zero. Like, you know, right now, a lot of people see this 90, we're what, at 95,000 right now or so. See $95,000 Bitcoin and they think that's too, too high. That's too much, too high for us to buy. Not if you're DCA. Just get off of zero and start dollar cost averaging every week or every month into Bitcoin and, and have a plan for four years or, or whatever your plan may be. And guys, it's not too late. You know, we are Getting to the point, now that we have these ETFs, we have options on ETFs, the governments are talking about making it strategic reserves. There is going to probably become a point of mass adoption where this volatility disappears. But this volatility, as much as it hurts emotionally on these bad days, volatility is a gift. This volatility is what makes you life-changing money. And Bitcoin, yes, we have swings to the downside, really bad ones. But if you have conviction to hold and follow a plan, it will give you life-changing money. Um, so anyways, guys, go check that out. Go play with it. Um, get off of zero. If you're, if you're watching this, if, you, if a friend shared this with you, and you're watching this uh, and you're, you're, you're kind of a first time investor, just go and, and start dollar cost averaging little amounts every week or every month or whatever it may be every day uh, and just have a plan. I can't stress having a plan and not letting your emotions get to you enough. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So um, thank you again, Andy, for your question. Uh, your your uh, idea on this video. Appreciate it very much. If you guys, again, have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, okay, so I do have some news to get into, and then I do want to show you guys the charts a bit, uh, give you guys a bit of hope on, on this red day. Uh, but before we do that, guys, I do want to jump over here again. Um, <laughs> this is rory pond rescue ranch where are we at uh here we go um this is rory rory pond rescue ranch guys these guys are an animal sanctuary that take care of uh neglected abandoned um 
needy animals, guys, and they really could use your help. If you guys have anything you can afford to help these guys out with, I'm not affiliated with these guys other than this month. I am just trying to, to spotlight them and, and raise some money for these guys to help these animals out. Um, but it also helps you guys out because they are 501 C. Uh, and so this helps you when it comes tax time guys. So, and it does help guys. I, I can attest to that. Uh, so Go over the, uh, the link for these guys is also in the description. Um, it's not under credits uh, like the the other one uh, for that calculator, but it is above that in a section titled. I, I think it's titled um, donate to Rory Pond Rescue Ranch or something. Uh, so go over, check them out if you can. They have an Amazon wish list that you can send them supplies that they need for the animals. Uh, you can also buy merch through Bonfire or Printify, or you can donate via PayPal or Ven Venmo to help these animals out, guys. So very much appreciated if you do. All right, so let's get into um, the next bit. We are uh, looking at the ETFs, guys. So over the last week, um, last five days of ETF flows, right here guys um we've just seen hundreds of millions of dollars each day swallowed up by by blackrock and fidelity and everybody uh the only one that even had an outflow last week was uh surprise surprise grayscale uh but guys we had an a day thursday they, the ETF swallowed over a, a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin up. Uh, so guys, this is just going, you know, to a supply shock. Uh, this is just swallowing up more and more Bitcoin, which is a limited, the most limited resource uh, asset that we've ever seen. So these guys are just swallowing it up. And in, um, in news today, guys, there was somebody else that swallowed a whole ton up. Uh, and that was MicroStrategy. Uh, MicroStrategy, uh, it says, is down. It just boosted its Bitcoin holdings. Um, this is a bad article. Uh, it won't let me show you guys this, but let's go back. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so uh, this says they could soon reveal a three billion dollar of Bitcoin buys, uh, but that's not even the news, guys. Let me get to the right story here. Here we go. This came out this morning. Michael Saylor's micro strategy buys fifty five thousand more Bitcoin. Um, this was a total of $5.4 billion worth swallowed up by my micro strategy, $5.4 billion worth. And if you guys remember just, I, I believe it was last week, if not just two weeks ago, uh, MicroStrategy raised $4.6 billion and bought more Bitcoin just a week or two ago. So these guys alone in, in two weeks, maybe one week, has bought up $10 billion worth of Bitcoin. In one, one or two weeks. MicroStrategy alone has bought $10 billion worth of Bitcoin. Um, and if you know MicroStrategy, they don't sell. So if you guys remember a few, uh, probably a month or so ago, I did report on this. This is uh, Bitcoin approaches all-time highs as daily OTC desk inflows drop to years low. Uh, years low. And down here it says um, somewhere, oh, where is it? 
Oh, right here. Over the counter desks. Did I just break it? There we go. We're back on. Uh, okay. Over the counter desks hold four hundred and sixteen thousand dollar or four hundred and sixteen thousand Bitcoin valued at around thirty billion dollars, a level that has remained stagnant for the the past month. So, guys. Thirty billion dollars is all that's in the OTC desks. This was in October, end of October. So this might have fluctuated here or there. But when you're seeing MicroStrategy buy ten billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, OTC, they don't go on to Coinbase and buy spot market, and neither do the ETFs. So the ETFs and big buyers like uh, MicroStrategy are buying from OTC desks, if they only have $30 billion and the ETFs are buying billions of dollars worth every week, MicroStrategy is buying tens of billions of dollars every few weeks. This is a supply crisis <laughs> in, in the making, uh, which there is just way too much, much, uh, demand to keep up with the supply the supply we're only mining about uh 450 bitcoin every week and these guys are swallowing up way more than that um and again guys there's much more to come guys there's you know poland is having elections right now and one of their presidents is actually running on a Bitcoin campaign uh, that they're going to adopt Bitcoin in Poland um, as either a strategic reserve or a, a legal tender. Uh, I believe it's strategic reserve that that guy's going for. Um, but you have big governments, guys. If you said this four years ago that we'd be seeing governments adopting Bitcoin, I would have probably said no, probably not. But we're seeing that now. The U.S. is now, um, you know, Donald Trump has made the claim that he's going to make a uh, Bitcoin strategic reserve. And Cynthia Lummis, the senator from Wyoming, is also putting a bill forward on that uh, issue as well. So the fact that it's even being talked about is insane. Uh, you know, we probably won't hear definitively that the government is buying Bitcoin if they decide to start buying Bitcoin because they're, you know, traders don't do that until they absolutely have to or until they're completely done buying, you know, especially somebody as big as the United States. If they were to come out and say, we're going to start buying tomorrow, everybody and their dog jumps in and front runs them uh, because they know the U.S. is going to shove the, the, uh, the dollar price up by buying a bunch. So um, you won't, you probably won't hear definitively if, if the U.S. is buying, uh, but eventually we will find out if they are. Um, so guys, w uh, the point is, is we have a lot of, a lot of bullish things happening, a lot of things that we never would have thought were, were possible in the net in the last four years. Um, and it's just good. It's a good time to be in Bitcoin, even though we have a red day, guys. So let's jump over to the charts. I do want to show you what we're doing and give you guys a few silver linings to today's uh, drop. Now, as you can see, this, this lower line um, that I drew clear back, I, I drew this uh, pendant formation. And this, this top line went clear back to 2021 uh, through the tops of the 21s, uh, 2021 that we had. Uh, but this bottom, bottom line is only maybe a, a couple weeks long. And it, it's something, you know, we shot up. We had this, this flagpole shoot up after the election. And then we started waving around in this bull flag right here. And that's kind of what I was showing you, but I have extended that line out. And look, guys, we, we bounced off that line. We came out of that bull flag. And now 
today we have dropped down to retest this support line, this trend line as support. Now, if we hold that line as support, that is actually so, so healthy. You know, every, every time we test that line as support, it gets stronger and it's an upward sloping line. So, you know, this, this is like a good line of defense. Every time we come down and test it and bounce off of it, that strengthens that defense. Uh, you know, makes it less likely in the future that we'll drop below that. Now, again, this is only a couple weeks long, this line. Uh, but, I mean, let me, let me just sh run into the, this is on the daily. Let me go to the hourly and you can just see how accurate it really has been. Um, you know. I mean, I'm way zoomed in now and we dropped right to that line. Um, and obviously this line is very like hand drawn for me. So it's probably off a little bit on my angle or whatever. But um, we did wick below it in this last hour, but we have bounced up above it again. So uh, we are treating this line as support, which again, guys, is super healthy. Um, the bearish news here, guys, is on the hourly. Now, this take this worth a grain of salt because this is a very short term chart. But on this chart, this uh, 50 day moving average has dropped below the 100 day moving average, um, which is not a, a great sign. Um, and we've also over the last few days kind of we we were kind of treating that 50 day moving average the green line uh we had kind of bounced off that a few times and it was it was acting as a support we in the past few days we have fallen below that guys but again this is about as short of a of a chart a time frame of a chart that i even want to look at if you jump back out to the daily um we are still am i on the daily yeah this is daily okay so where's the moving averages clear down here but we we have the right order of moving averages there we've got green over orange over yellow which is what you want to see uh, kind of confirming that we are in an uptrend right now, and none of those are are even hinting at crossing into bearish territory anytime soon. So, um, again, guys, this this retest of this line is just honestly really healthy con consolidation. So, watch that line. I'm not saying it can't drop below it and still be healthy. Uh, and I'm not saying to trade this at all, but um, right now, this is the positive that I'm finding in the charts. Uh, if you look though, guys, look look right here. The only one, you know, very few, there's a few really small coins that I, I kind of follow that aren't in the red for the, but for the most part, we are in the red for cryptocurrency. Even the dollar is down today, gold's down, silver's down. Um, you know, it, it's just kind of a, a consolidating day, but the one big coin that isn't doing bad and not only are they not doing bad, but they're actually, you know, Bitcoin's down 3%. Ethereum is up 3%. Um, so guys, I did want to point that out. A lot of people I've seen on on uh, social media, X, uh, Twitter, Facebook have been, I've seen a lot of posts saying, I just sold all my Ethereum. I'm done with it. I'm in, I'm getting into Cardano or because it's moved up lately, or I'm getting into XRP, which has moved up lately. I've, I saw one that said, I sold all my ETH. I'm in purely in SHIB now, Shiba Inu. Inu. Um, guys don't trade like that. It's, uh, 
it's a disaster waiting to happen. And I know from experience guys. So, um, I made this mistake probably, I think it was right around 2016 or 2017 sold some of my stuff, uh, and chased coins that were already pumping because I was sick of, of the ones that weren't moving. And guys, what happens is just what we're seeing today. Now I've, I, I will admit that Ethereum needs to move a lot more than this to catch up. But the times when when everybody's selling out of one coin and chasing gains that into coins that have already pumped, you're you're getting into something that's already pumped and destined to consolidate or retrace. And then in the meantime, the coin that you were in is going to pump. You know, this, this is a, just something that always, always happens. It, it's completely opposite of what you want to do in trading. Again, you want to, you want to buy when it's low, sell when it's high, not the opposite. And that's what people are doing with Ethereum right now. Um, so anyways, guys, that's just a, another thing. Don't trade on emotions. If there is something fundamental about a coin that you you're wanting to get out of a coin because something fundamentally is is wrong um and i haven't seen that with ethereum uh but if there is or if there's there's a coin that is suddenly in your purview that has done a lot there's been some major fixes with their network with their uh you know programming or whatever then that's something you can consider. That's something that's fact-based that you can kind of consider and trade in and out of, but don't trade on your emotions just because your coin isn't performing as well as some others. Um, again, I know this from experience. I lost money doing this uh, in the 2016 uh, cycle. So um, anyways, guys, just be careful, have a plan. Um, and you know hopefully hopefully you know showing you guys some of these things micro strategy buying a metric crap ton of uh bitcoin this morning gives you some hope for for the rest of the week uh we'll definitely keep an eye on this trend line um but other than that guys i think that's about it for today so as always, uh, very much appreciated if you've watched this far in the video. I, I appreciate you guys taking the time. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, and other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.